Now for starters, if you're going directly to the camera, have the audio input as low as possible. And uh, of course, you gotta be careful of this here. But uh, right now I'm on effect as being basically original. So this gives me the most original sound. Now, normally when I start up, it's gonna be on this red pro. One, this pro. And you're normally not gonna hear that, but I'm connected directly to the camera. That's why you're hearing it say pro. Normally when connected to PC through USB, you will not hear that sound. Now, if you hear me now, I'm gonna get a bit of echoish sound when I have this effect on, this pro one, which allows me to use this echo slider, in which you can hear the echo. I'd recommend keep your mic no more than say 75% of the way up. You can always experiment on this yourself to see which levels, but don't exceed 75% on any of these settings up here to keep things nice here. Let's record to PC volume. I could have this completely, I think, off right now. Let's see, and you can still hear me. Now I'm gonna turn the denoise off so you can actually hear the hiss, and this makes it very easy to tune your setup here to get, like, say, the best audio and find out where things get really hissy. But your volume changes based on your level of these here. Noise so, cancelling off. So now you can hear a bit more noise, but listen as I turn this low up, but of course my volume will also go up with it. We can hear a lot more uh, rumble. And if I just turn it down, say to 50% or less, that goes down, but so does the volume as well. Mid-range is a similar idea. You get this weird high-pitched kind of hiss to it. Turn it down just a little, and you're down around there. Things get pretty pretty low in terms of uh, volume with that little bit of sound, and then highs will do the same thing, but to a much less degree. Now, recording to PC, again, this will go up when you exceed 75%. I found that the noise in the actual output, but right now, this is not going to change because I'm not connected to PC. For other settings, monitor, that's going to be your headphone out. And I'm using the headphone out to my camera. If I go high on here, my camera level is going to go higher. So to reduce the hiss here, you don't want to be turning it right up as well. So you want to find the perfect match between your mic min max and your monitor level. But while doing that, make sure your camera level is as low as possible because your camera level, audio level, will introduce hiss into the sound. Noise cancelling Okay, let's on. turn that off so it's nice and quiet. So we're not going to hear much noise right now other than my voice. And by the way, for the mic included on the S1 model, your Mayono symbol is out right here. Talk towards that. Because if you go the other way around and you talk on the other side of the mic, the volume level drops off quickly if you're not talking directly into the mic and speak close to it to get the best sound quality. That goes with pretty much any mic. Speak towards the capsule, close to it, and keep your volume and sound quality great. So this is a basic rundown. Now, one thing you can do when USB connected to PC, I'll show you what you can do here. Let's say you don't want any effects. You just want the system to work. One thing we can do is connect the USB right here it is, to the device. Right now I'm running off batteries, but once I connect to USB, I am powered. Okay, now we have USB connected, but check this out. I can actually record the sound. I'm gonna connect to get a, the PC recording right now. So I'm gonna press power on here. Now check this out. Right now I am connected to PC still, Right now I'm recording with Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio. You can use Audacity, which is free to record this, OBS, and you can hear the sound from this device, despite the fact it's turned off. You can see the lights right here. And that's all I need to see, that there's actually sound going out. Of course, none of my settings are gonna affect anything because this is all off other than using this as an audio interface. And my volume leap still works. Let's see, it goes up and up and up, down, down, down. Yeah, it works just as it normally should, so that's pretty cool. Let's listen to the sounds and see how quiet this really is. I'll put my hand across when to turn your volume up. Now listen to the silence.
So as you notice, I moved my volume a bit, my record volume, just to give you an idea of how the hiss changed, if there's any noise at all, and to see if having it powered off with nothing on as well gives you a difference in sound versus powered on. Let's power it on right now. Pairing. Now the device is powered on, and let's see how the sound is. To recording a PCL, let's keep it around this volume for now. Now it's powered on. We have all the fax settings usable, but I have nothing on other than denoise. Now let's listen to the silence. Okay. So how you connect it, that's up to you. You can connect to your mobile phone. The instructions, of course, are with the device. It has a nice little manual and a nice little guide that this comes with. So you have your user manual for information. You have this as well that tells you your information. And you can use the adapters to iPhone or Android and uh, connect your three-line cable to three-line cable to the device Hope you found this video informative to help you find out what the best settings are for this device. Now, if you're wondering about Bluetooth being wired or not wired, generally I recommend wired because wired is always generally the best because you have a direct connection, direct cable. However, the Bluetooth for music in is not a problem at all either anyways. And I believe you should be able to adjust most of the volume through your phone volume rocker so you don't have to worry about the noise of the music exceeding your volume, or you can also control it through here. So that I'll leave up to you. You got your side chain. This is when you have your music playing to lower your music so it hears more of you talking when you use side chain. And of course, this thing is for all different sound effects, almost like an auto tune. Uh, yeah, is it the right pitch that works for you? Because C works for me works for me and of course then I go just press this and that takes me off that setting so that's my easy way out of my A, B, C, D and all that fun stuff for pitches. This is Eric and I hope you enjoyed this review overview how to get the best sound possible out of this device. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.